I don't think there's any question that there is a future for brain EVM studies. Uh, there's a question mark because th these studies have turned out to be very difficult to conduct. It's not such a frequent disease and it's an it's a, a, a population really of, of uh, diseases that is it's been difficult for people to conceptualize that they could be grouped all together uh, asking a simple question with whether we should treat them or not preventively particularly for unruptured brain AVM and uh, the, the previous studies have been so difficult to conduct that I suppose that's why the question is, is posed. Uh, is there a future for such studies? But I, I do believe that there, we really have no choice. All those problems exist. I think the design have to be modified in order to take into account that those are rare, uncommon disease with much heterogeneity, selection of patient. Uh, multiple treatment choices, none of them have been validated as beneficial in the past. So it's a, it's a problem with trial design, it's a problem with participants too. There's been uh, quite a rapid evolution in materials, for example, for endovascular treatment, but that can be in integrated into trial design. There's not that many studies, but we suspect there's more uh, differences in the uh, way to approach the problem and, and, and the uh, 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 schools advocating this or that treatment for that condition rather than differences in really uh, types of uh, populations. That's one crucial issue. Any treatment is meant to be beneficial on the long term and, and that's one true challenge to have long-term data on both patients that are treated conservatively and patients that are being treated one way or the other. This can be surgical, endovascular, radiation therapy, or a combination of all these. So that's one true challenge of these studies, is to have a long-term follow-up, or at least long-term enough to have meaningful results. And that's been one of the complaints in the past, that those studies was, were not long-term enough to capture the potential benefits of, of treatments. Well, everybody talks about the Aruba study that was published in late 2013. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to present TOBAS, which is uh, kind of an answer to that study. In other words, we're, we're now proposing a, a, a longer term study, more all-inclusive really. It's meant to be both a, a randomized trial and a registry so that any patient with a brain AVM in any participating center could be included in the trial been ongoing in only one center in Montreal so far, but uh, one of the reasons I'm here is to recruit other centers. We're still in the pilot phase, so we've recruited 66 patients so far in Montreal in less than a year, so it looks promising for other centers to join in. And once we have a sufficient number of, of uh, participating centers, then we can consider the feasibility of the entire adventure. <laughs>